Your party is racing frantically through the city sewers as the city guards seem to be closing in behind you. Splashing through the filth and dark tunnels, you notice the guards no longer give chase. As you look ahead, you notice the portcullis has closed and the numerous pipes and sewer grates that surround you begin to release toxic fumes into the tunnels. You have but seconds to find your way out or every player is rolling poison damage. This week on Tabletop Witchcraft. Hey there, and welcome back to Tabletop Witchcraft. You know, when I think of excitement around the game table, the combination of time and danger always seems to be at the top of the list. Now you add some special effects and watch your players squirm. I'm going to show you how to make these with use of the new Wiston board by Terraintronics. We'll make a couple different variations of that. Real quick, if you want to help support the channel, TWC10 at checkout gets you 10% off your entire order. A small kickback comes to help me out. Check this out, Alchemist Poison, how perfect is that for this video? All right, if you're ready, let's go grab some supplies and let's get crafting. All right, another awesome candle by Firelight Fables Candle Company, Alchemist Poison. Loved it for this video. And we're gonna dig back into a series I did a long time ago here on the channel, my sewer series where I made these tiles that actually glow up, uh, these walls with some really cool details and some pipes. I chose this one in particular for those two pipes sticking out in the wall. All right, so now I get to use a new product here on the channel. It's called Merlin's Magic. It's a hobby stone, and I was really impressed with this stuff. It has uh, a couple different colors you can pick it up in. This sample pack is a dark gray. The cool thing about that is if this piece happens to chip, it's not going to show up as much as if it was a white plaster. Now, I mix it to the exact ratio that was on the package, and I'm just not used to this product. I have This is the first time I'm using it. And you'll notice just how much it turns into almost a complete liquid, really. And uh, I just, I wasn't comfortable um, having that be my only batch. You can see how uh, viscous that is. So I made a separate batch. I mixed it with a little less water. Turned out fine, but you'll notice here in a minute that the batch, the original batch that I used actually was just as good. All right, and then I sprayed this Hearst Arts mold with a little bit of surfactant. Just gonna keep the bubbles down in the mold itself. And this is my second batch. And you can see this is really, you know, liquidy <laughs> um, already. And the one that I mixed to their spec was even more so, but it turned out just fine. Now I'm throwing a couple of magnets into the mold here. This is gonna be important for the Wiston board that we're gonna use in just a minute. And I want to show this because I do use this metal scraper to level everything off. Had to use a wooden skewer for the ones with the magnets, obviously. Uh, because those will stick to the scraper. And you can see we get some really nice detail with this Merlin's Magic. I'm a fan, definitely use it again. All right, and here's the sample that I had set aside. I thought this wasn't gonna cure properly, but as you can see, it hardened up real nice. Okay, let's take a quick break to check out this week's video sponsor. The new Pick Your Poison Jar is out now on Kickstarter. Created by the Dungeons & Dragons enthusiast, DM Dunn, he started this veteran-owned business out of a love of the game. You might recognize these as the launch of his previous Kickstarter, the Healing Potion Bottle, was a big success. The Pick Your Poison Jar is a fun in-game component that will allow your players to roll the poison damage they've taken or are shelling out for everyone to see. This little jar is filled with green resin and comes with 10d4. All these dice fit in the jar and using the label on the back, you can get suggestions on how many dice to use per level and corresponding DCs for saving throws. If you back now, you can also pick up his healing potion bottles as well and satin line bags to keep your bottles protected or hold your unused dice. Click on the link in the description to have a close look at his Kickstarter and add some flair to your next game session. All right, so you are looking at the Wiston board by Terraintronics. It's a very simple piece. You see that's the read switch in the back. Basically, we're gonna connect our positive and negative leads from our diode into those two little slots. And that read switch, when it comes near magnet, is gonna close that loop and turn the LED on. Other than that, you're gonna need a battery, a little bit of wire, and any type of diode that you want. This one is really bright, it does get hot, so that's something to keep in mind whenever you're pressing that up against something in one of your crafts. One of the trickiest things is getting the battery in right, which isn't that big of a deal. Put it in how I just showed you, and you're good to go. This little tool is gonna help you when you're working with this kind of stuff. 
I'll have links to this and everything else that you see in my studio on my website at www.tabletopwitchcraft.com. All right, now if you look really close on the right, you'll see a little positive and on the left pad there, a negative. And we're just going to make sure we get positive to positive, negative to negative, heating up that little pool of solder. We can then uh, slide that wire in there and we're all set. And you can see how cool this Wiston board is. Literally just has to go near the magnet and it's gonna turn on. All right, so in the past I've used a lot of hydrostone and I've always used Eileen's tacky glue to hold it together. So here I want to use the same thing and see how it held with the Merlin's Magic, and it did just fine. Now I'm making a little sewer grate. We're going to use this to obviously cover up one of the magnets we're going to place in this floor. Now it felt kind of weird cutting into this craft. Again, this is probably like three years old, and I had forgot that I used uh, dollar store foam core over the top of these, so I was surprised when it came out a nice flat disc. <laughs> but, you know, don't be afraid to go back into your old crafts dig them up and, you know, add new things to them. Now we're gonna add a couple of magnets. You notice I'm using two. We can double these up and we'll get a little bit more strength or power out of them. And I'm using bigger magnets than I typically do. It's because we wanna hold the Wiston board with a battery and whatever else we add to them in place. And that great fit on there, nice and smooth. It was uh, pretty satisfying putting that in there. Using a little bit of this paint. I believe I used this paint on some of the pipes in my original sewer wall video. Then go into some typhus corrosion and then rise of rust to add my rust effect to the pipe. So this is just like a little plug. We're gonna make this piece, paint it black, and we're only gonna use this when the players walk by this and we want the gas to come out. It's gonna slide in place and hold our fumes where we want them. So as I mentioned earlier, the LEDs that I'm using in this video do get pretty hot. So I'm gonna place a piece of cardboard between the LED and the Wiston board, and then I'm gonna make a clear little covering to go over the whole thing, just to protect the cotton that's going on the LED in this whole unit that I don't have any type of issue. Using a little bit of hot glue, we'll hold it in place. Again, it's just the LED that's gonna get really hot, not the Wiston board. And you can use smaller LEDs in any of these builds that don't really produce that much heat, so keep that in mind as well. All right, another smoke effect. We're gonna use a little bit of wire cage. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna build a nice area up and around the LED. So when the LED comes on, it's gonna light up this entire plume of smoke really nice. Okay, and you'll see them spreading the cotton out wide and then pulling it straight up to give it that effect as if the smoke is coming up out of the sewer. And this one is gonna be the smoke coming out of the pipe on the side of the wall. So I'm gonna kind of twist this cotton and make it look like it's you know protruding out of the pipe with some pressure. All right, here's a couple of paints that I used. I'm gonna use these in my next video on the channel as well. So basically we're going to undercoat this, I guess, with some yellow, then do a highlight with the green, and then kind of like a little overspray on this whole thing to pick up the high points with a black, and these smoke plumes will be all set at the place anywhere you want on the table wherever you have a magnet. All right, so how cool is this new Wiston board by Terraintronics? I've got so many fun ideas planned for this. I'll have definitely more videos coming out my channel using them. One, next week, it's a new building from the Curse of Strahd that I'm doing here on the channel. You do not wanna miss out on this video. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. It's coming out next week. A couple of quick things, if you wanna help support the channel, go visit DM Dunn's new Kickstarter, the Pick Your Poison Jar. Support him there, you're gonna support him, you're gonna support me, and you're gonna get a really fun little cool immersive uh, craft or item that you can give to your players and have them roll some more dice because who doesn't like rolling dice around the table? Also, TWC10 at checkout gets you 10% off your order at Firelight Fables Candle Company, a whole new candle line out right now. The Alchemist Poison was a great little jar 
It had a bunch of little gems inside of it, so when you light it, you can watch it melt into the wax. So that was kind of cool. Also, you can visit me over on Patreon, where you can check out all kinds of fun tiers over there. You can join me at live at night while I'm crafting. You can join the Coven tier on Facebook, which is my private Facebook page, and you gain access to me as well there. All right, until next time, I'll see you around.